straight down the middle. Hey, have I got a guest here for you. I wanted to know how the legends got together here to be here at the links of Stony Point, and I have a legend pro tour here, Cindy Rarick. Rarick, how you doing today, Cindy? Doing great. We just finished the Pro-Am, and it was an awesome day. I had a fun team, and I played with a lovely young lady um, that's going to be competing this weekend in the Symmetra Tour event. So uh, what do you have to say about our golf course right here in Greenwood? Have you ever played before? No, this is my first time to Greenwood, and I'll tell you, this golf course is very challenging. It's got a lot of great holes. You're hitting a lot of different clubs out there, which is, which is important. You're using every club in your bag. So it's not like the commercial where you can just have a couple of clubs and make it come together? That's right. No, this is the real deal. 18 <laughs> holes, and you know, you're just, you've got to, you've got to play strategy. I mean, there's, there's holes out there that you can take chances, and there's other holes you better play conservative. Well, Cindy, how did this come together with uh, the legends being here and also the Symmetra Tour? How did this come together? How did you end up here today? Well, they say timing is everything, and I certainly believe it. And some things are meant to be as well. And I think that this was meant to be. I was at the PGA show in January and ran into a friend of mine and right next to my friend who had just met Jim and Denise Medford. Uh, they introduced me and we started talking about it. They said they were going to, oops, excuse Sorry. me, they, were, they said they were going to have a Symmetra Tour event in the spring and they asked what I was doing. I said, well, I'm playing on the Legends Tour and they said, well, that might be kind of neat to bring some Legend Tour players in with our Symmetra event. And I said, that's a great idea. And um, we, we, the conversation evolved, and I said, I'd be happy to get some players. He said, do you think you could do that? I said, absolutely. And so one thing led to another. Uh, we just brainstormed a little bit, and here we are. It's fantastic. We've got 16 of the Legend Tour players, some of the best women that have ever played the game of golf, uh, several Hall of Famers, Pat Bradley, uh, Beth Daniel. It's, it's fantastic. We've got U.S. Open winners. Uh, Hall of Stacey won three consecutive U.S. Opens. Meg Mallon is here. Jan Stevenson, a multi-multi-tournament winner around the world. And so it's very exciting for some of these young players to meet the ladies that have, you know, paved the way for what they're doing now and what they hope to be doing for the next 20 years. Absolutely. Why do you think that women's golf just doesn't get the, as much attention as uh, men's golf? Well, I think it all boils down to money. Uh, you know, the coverage, you know, it takes a lot of money to be on TV, and that's exposure. And they've got a lot of money to promote that tour, the PGA Tour and the Champions Tour, and the LPGA, you know, it just takes more corporate sponsorships, and I think the PGA has just a lot of long-term relationships with corporate America. So it, it could possibly get there, because there's a lot of great young talent out on the LPGA, and it would be nice to have that recognized by the world. Absolutely. Where do you uh, where do you call home now? Tucson, Arizona in the winter, and Washington State in the summer. Gosh. And what's your schedule for the rest of the week? You're gonna you're just here really today, aren't you? Yes. Uh, it's been a. I'm gonna be hopping on and off airplanes all week. We just came in from Phoenix yesterday, and tomorrow morning I'll be going back to Phoenix, driving to Tucson Friday morning, flying up to Seattle, Washington, and then later in the month up back across the uh, country to Washington D.C. So it's gonna be a little bit of flying all around, but you know, I'm used to it. I've done it for over 25 years. Wow, it's pretty impressive, and I gotta say something. Ole, love the skin you're in. You got great skin. Is it a good product? It's a fantastic product, <laughs> thanks for asking. I highly recommend it, and you know, it's so important to take care, or try to take care of your skin. As much time that we've spent in the sun and the elements, you know, it's it's just, it's a great product. They've, they've really come a long way, and uh, I love it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I know you were packing up your bag, and I just uh, grabbed you, and you graciously sat down with us. Thanks so much. Sure, you bet. Thank you so much. I heard that, you betcha. Where are you from originally? Minnesota. Oh, there you go, the Great Lakes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks, Ann. <laughs>